Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Monday, the 4th of February, 2019. I'm Jeannie, so happy to be with you. Now, let me say this. Unless you lived in a cave with a rock in front of it for the last six months, <laughs> you know that yesterday was a very big day in the sports world, and that, of course, was the annual Super Bowl. Well, we're not, I mean, I'm not a big giant Super Bowl fan. I usually just watch it because I really like the um, commercials. And I must say, this year's commercials lacked. They weren't as funny as usual. But again, I don't want to get into that commentary. Just to say this, boys and girls, and that is that a lot of people really, really enjoy football. Now, that's something that a lot of people, I mean, if you are willing to pay 5000 or 6000 or $10,000 for one ticket to go sit in a stadium and watch a bunch of big guys with shoulder pads and helmets bang into each other, well, good for you. If, they, if, they, if that's your thing and you're a fan, great. But it's not necessarily mine. I mean, I really like high school football, particularly when uh, Ram FM, when at WRMZ, when we broadcast the local Rams games and uh, Headland High School Rams, and we get a lot of the listeners and, and a lot of good feedback on that. That's a lot of fun for me. But some people just live for it. And not only that, but they just live for going on to the next thing. Well, now that this is over, what do we do next? Oh, well, I think it might be time for, uh, yeah, that's right. It's the March Madness is around the corner. And then after that, what happens after that? Then, oh, baseball season kicks in. <laughs> and then, of course, there's always throughout the year different places, depending on where you are, you always have tennis. Now, I know my husband, he is the type of sports, here's, here's what kind of a sports um, uh, fan my husband is. What Michael will uh, not watch shows and not watch games all season long. That doesn't really interest him. But then when it gets to the finals, that's when he usually likes to watch. When he's watching basketball, when he's watching the high, uh, the college ball, he usually waits till it gets down to the Sweet 16, gets all the way down to like, you know, the final four, final eight, then he'll start watching it. Same thing with baseball. When he's watching baseball, a lot of times he does not watch the game during the season. He loves the Yankees and he loves the Cubs, but what he'll do is he'll watch it until it gets to the playoffs and then he he always watches the World Series no matter who's playing. And then the same with tennis. He likes tennis. He loves tennis. But very rarely does he watch the preliminary rounds. He waits till it gets to the final games uh, in the Australian Open or in the uh, um, in uh, Wimbledon or any of those. And that's the way he likes to do it. He waits till the final stretch. But here's the thing. He goes very faithfully. He goes from this to this to this to this. That's what he'll do. He'll go from one to the next. Because no matter what year, time of the year it is, there's always some sort of sporting event to go to. There's always on to the next thing. And isn't that a lot like our lives? We have one thing we think, okay, if I could just get through this, then I can go on to the next thing. And then once you get through that, then you can go on to the next thing. And your life ends up being a series of events. And what you're doing is a lot of times you're waiting for the bad stuff to get done so you can go on to the next thing. Think about when you were in high school and you were in that senior year, those last couple of months of senior year, that last 10%, you couldn't wait to get out of there because you thought everything would be rosy. There would be no more exams and no more pressures and all. And then you go to college and you find out that college is twice, 10 times as hard as high school. And then you think, well, I'll just get out of college and, and then I'll go on to the next thing. And then you go to graduate school and that's even worse than regular college. And then of course you go on to your profession and that has so many ups and downs and challenges. So, I mean, life is just a series of going from one thing on to the next thing. And 
it has its good and it has its bad. You know, if you're watching, if you're watching, like, for example, the finals with tennis, there, that, that can be very, very nerve wracking because that can change in a moment. You could have one, one bad, uh, a move, one bad swing, one bad return, and, and the whole thing could just boom, go like that and you could blow a championship. Well, that's a lot like life too. You can make one wrong turn boys and girls, one wrong decision, take one wrong job, do one wrong thing, marry the wrong person. You could do a lot of things like that and then it can just change and alter the course of everything. Look at what happened with, and I'm not going to get political, but look at what happened with that ball game with, that, that determined that the Rams were going to the, uh, to the Super Bowl. That one bad call with the New Orleans Saints changed everything. Now, of course, that's still very controversial, and I don't mean to get controversial, but my point is this. One simple good choice or bad choice can alter the course of you going on from one thing to the next thing. So when you go from one thing to the next thing, make your decisions wisely on how you want to proceed with that course. Because one wrong turn could end your car up in a ditch, okay? You see what I'm saying? Hey, go be a blessing to somebody today. You might end up being the only one who is. Maybe your one really right decision today will be to go bless somebody and that would be a very good thing to go on to and don't forget subscribe to my youtube channel Jeannie Sigler J-E-A-N-N-E S-I-G-L-E-R hit that subscribe button and of course for great music great programming wrmz.org and click that listen button all new great programming all new great music. We've got a huge upgrade that kicks in today. So make sure. Now, if you first click on and you can't connect, it's because we're just in the process of tweaking everything and turning the knobs and turning everything back on again for great programming. So please, you will not be disappointed. WRMZ.org. All right. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. I guess it's time to go on to the next thing. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye-bye.